So I don't know what kind of battery you're looking for in a smartphone, but on this Ocotel K10, you can watch almost 50 hours of TV before the phone will die. If you want to see more interesting and cheap tech like the Ocotel K10, why not subscribe? It's free! So many of you guys have been asking for a battery test and it's finally here. I almost killed myself testing the battery because it was so difficult and so long. Now, spoiler alert, the battery life is insanely good, but it's not all fun and games and there are some aspects of the battery that suck, so continue watching to find out. Let's talk about the insane screen on time I got from watching a TV show at 40% brightness. So I used MX Player and played a 720p Chinese TV show starting at 11am in the morning and then I basically left it for 10 hours and didn't touch the phone and came back around 9pm and the phone lost about 22% battery life. So that's pretty crazy, right? So I thought, why not continue watching TV? So I let it continue, went to bed and I took another look at it around 10 a.m. the next day. So that's a full 23 hours and the phone had lost an extra 24% battery life. So if we add all this up, this phone played back TV for 23 hours and it used up 46% battery life, which is absolutely insane. You can get very close to that 50 hour video playback mark if you wanted to. And if you took the longest flight in the world, which is around 17 hours, you could watch TV on this phone the entire way there, the entire way back, and still have plenty of juice left over. YouTube streaming takes more juice than just local video playback. You can watch around 30 to 35 hours of YouTube before the phone dies. Less impressive, but still insane. Now let's talk about gaming. Battery life is obviously going to be different depending on what games you play, but I played a mix of Asphalt Extreme, Modern Combat, Injustice, and Super Mario Run, and I played for about an hour and lost 7%. So if you divide that linearly, that's about 14 hours of gaming, which to be honest, is not that great if you consider the Xiaomi Mi Max you can game for about 13 hours on a 5300mAh battery. This SoC is really inefficient when it comes to gaming. Here's a small sample of gaming videos from the phone. So we talked about the good stuff, now let's talk about the bad stuff. And I will tell you right now, it doesn't look that bad, but when you look into the numbers, it's pretty bad. So what I'm talking about is standby battery life. I got really different results. The first day I got the Ocotel K10, I had everything set up, and after playing with the phone, I went to bed around 10 p.m. and the battery was about 93%. So I wake up at 6 a.m. the next day, so that's about 8 hours of sleep, and the battery life was 79%. That's a 14% drop over 8 hours. Now let's do some math. What's 14% of 11,000 milliamp hours? That's 1540 milliamp hours. That's like half of the iPhone battery. So I took a look at battery use and found out that there were some wake locks which I did fix. And now battery drain is about half percent every hour, which honestly is still pretty bad, but it's not crazy bad like before. So I really hope that Ocasel fixes the battery drain problem because it should be a lot lower. Finally, charge time, and without using a MediaTek Pump Express charger but a regular charger, it took about 5.5 hours to fully charge the phone. That's actually not that bad at charge time, especially without a quick charge brick. So I really don't know what kind of insane person wants 50 hours of TV playback, but then again, I'm really not in a position to judge because I myself want a phone that has crazy battery life as well, so it just depends on how crazy you are about battery life. Anyway, be sure to stay tuned for my gaming video for this phone that will be dropping very soon. Spoiler alert, it's really not bad. If you want to see more videos like this, why not subscribe? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.